Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and I'm going to show you how to use the geometric mean theorem to calculate the altitude of a right triangle. So look at our triangle right here. We have triangle A, B, C. We have an altitude drawn for us, hence the right angle right here. Our altitude here is BD that we need to find. We're only given lengths of AD and DC being 9 and 4. That is separated from the altitude. With just that information, we can find the altitude of, well, this right triangle here. Okay. Now there's actually going to be two other ways, at least two other ways to find that altitude. So I want to see if you can figure those out, but I'm going to show you one way using the geometric mean theorem. All right. So let's go dive on in here. Our geometric mean theorem tells us if we write it as H equals the square root of M times N. Pretty simple if you have it memorized. M and N are the values that are separated from the altitude and H's are altitude. So in this case, let's call 9M and 4N. Pretty simple. We plug that in to our, well, equation here. H equals the square root of M, 9, N, 4. Multiply that out. H equals square root of 9 times 4 is the square root of a 36. And the square root of 36 is just 6. So H equals 6 right here, and that is our altitude. Our value of BD is a 6 right here, and we found that using the geometric mean. Now, see if you can find the other two ways or methods to get that length of BD, but as always here, thanks for watching.